photography and the text was in brackets. <laughs> this is what we're up against. There was a wonderful story when, when, when Duchamp, oh, yeah, yeah. when Duchamp died, uh, MoMA decided they would do in the lobby, this is the old MoMA, um, a little Duchamp memorial installation. And there was several things they had on, and one of them was the famous Roto Relief. And um, there was a text on the wall by William Rubin, the Curator of Painting Structure, as it's called there. And um, he was saying, this is a masterpiece of 20th century art. You shall smash forever the division between painting and sculpture. It's not a painting, it's not a sculpture, blah, blah, blah. And then on the podium, a big sign said, please, please do not touch the sculpture. <laughs> and it was like that far from each other. No irony in an institutional world. So I never, um, I never really had a problem. I had, um, uh, I would, in fact, I would put my news from, uh, the later reviews from New York City. And to do the definition, I had no money. And so I would find little branch libraries, and I would take with me a cardboard, a cardboard, and a single edge prison bag. And I would find blind corners, and I'd take the dictionary, and I would steal the definition, right? And, um, uh, Ed Reinhardt came to my studio once, and he saw this dictionary through a hole. A little bit, when I was doing a little better, I could buy a new one. And he said, well, that's very funny. I have a book just like that, but it was, he did his cartoons from it. It was a book of art history, which he eventually gave me as present. But, um, so one day um, I'm at a fancy dinner in New York City with politicians and stuff, sitting next to the head of the New York libraries. And after <laughs> making too many scotches, I said, I'll tell you a good story. <laughs> and I told them, I told them throughout your library system, there are dictionaries with definitions missing. <laughs> and I said, but I would like to give you back one. 
because now it's worth about $100,000, right? And um, he didn't find it funny at all. He had absolutely no, you know. I said, oh, that was bad. But, so anyway, I never had a problem. Uh, Roy Lichtenstein uh, uh, told me once how he would, um, I said, do you ever have problems with the cartoons that you, you know, copy? He said, any cartoon organization invites me to speak at a, a dinner, I better, you know? And I always made a point to, to be in friendly relationship with the Cart Cartoonist Association and this kind of thing. And there was never a problem for appropriation until Coons came along, i.e. until big money came into it, right? So it was no longer really just an intellectual activity. It, it's the view of it became transformed. Um, uh, I mean, I um, once uh, was going, uh, this is just a proof moment, coming into Piazza San Marco, and there's a guy who was a heavy brain in a room with a very few people. This guy was coming, waving and yelling my name, but I couldn't quite see who it was. It's a big square. And finally, we get closer, and I just had a, a dog, and Kuntz had just had a son. And he yells out, Joseph, isn't it great? We both had human sculptures at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking of my daughter as a bad at all. You know? But, um, uh, and then another time I got this message from the, the son of the guy when he was showing there saying, uh, 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 Jeff really wants you to come to his, his lunch uh, after his opening, and then, uh, or, or before, I don't know. Um, and I said, okay, yeah. So, um, I was wondering, what's he said, he has some questions he has time to ask you. So um, we're sitting there across from each other, and I'm waiting to figure out what, what is the kind of art theory question that Coons would be interested in. And he says, looks at me and he says, Joseph, I really have to ask you, tell me everything you know about offshore corporations. <laughs> That's art now. <laughs> wow. so that guy. Yeah. Okay. Um, that is really a good question, I realize. Um, I think there are lots of issues around it. Oh my God, where are you? Going? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Uh, 
Um, but my first, I was, in, I, I was on a, a hot first date <coughs> at, a, at a restaurant in New York. And it was you know, what's, what's called the deuce in the restaurant, but it's small tables or two, a line of them. And um, so, you know, I'm you know, busy in the, uh, the craft of seduction, hopefully. I didn't know, I tried. And uh, it was going really well. And at a certain moment, the, the young lady got up to go to the bathroom. And the guy next to me, who I didn't even notice, leans over with a big smile. 